Hey, Mom. Yes, you. Why fuss and fret about dinner? Why not have it right here? Yes, this drive-in offers everyone in the family a real picnic treat for dinner. We've got delicious sandwiches with all the trimmings and your other dinner favorites, plus whatever you want to drink, hot or cold. Come early before the show starts, or eat while you're being entertained, or at intermission time. So why fuss? Give your family a tasty dinner at this drive-in. Gentlemen, science has agreed that unless something is done and done quickly, man, as the dominant species of life on Earth, will be extinct within a year. I repeat, stay in your homes. Your personal safety, the safety of the entire city, depends upon your full cooperation with the military authorities. Yes, cities, nations, even civilization itself, threatened with annihilation because in one moment of history-making violence, nature, mad, rampant, wrought its most awesome creation. For born in that swirling inferno of radioactive dust were things so horrible so terrifying, so hideous, there is no word to describe them. We may be witnesses to a biblical prophecy come true, and there shall be destruction and darkness come up in creation, and the beast shall reign over the earth. Yes, the earth, the skies above and the seas below infested by swarms of nightmare creatures, crueler, deadlier than the armored giants of prehistoric eras. Here is a wild, headlong flight into terror as the desert erupts with the grim battle for survival. Here is a fear-frenzied moment of suspense as mankind totters before a thing that multiplies faster than it can be killed. Here is a desperate plunge into the black depths of the earth where human courage challenges the brute force the slashing jaws, the poison fangs that guard the subterranean nest where the beast spawns its terrible progeny. To all units, to all units, condition red, drain 267 is the target area. Repeat, condition red, drain 267 is the target area. We can't take a chance. It might poison the whole city. circumstances were to magnify one of them in size and strength, took it out of its primitive world and turned it loose in ours. Then expect something that's fiercer, more cruel and deadly than anything that ever walked the earth. Instead, when such power to come, 
Пушкин. Stricken country. Where are the bodies? Easy. In all the kingdom of the living, there is no more deadly or voracious creature than the praying mantis. You think you'll be able to drive it out to sea? I hope so. Every device of military science, every defensive weapon, radar, planes, rockets, marshaled to destroy a thousand tons of beastly fury. A monster leaving a trail of carnage. Spreading panic across a continent. Get the alert button. Yes, sir. Nothing in its path was safe. Not the planes in the sky. Not the ships at sea. Nor the vehicles on the ground. You boys might just as well go back. There aren't any bodies. And then this most dangerous monster that ever lived challenged the security of our cities. It's coming after me. Mitch. That bird is extraterrestrial. It comes from outer space. From some godforsaken antimatter galaxy millions and millions of light years from the earth atomic hydrogen weapons capable of wiping cities countries off the face of the earth are completely ineffective against this creature from the skies <laughs> Attacking the United Nations building. Bird's after us. Chasing us. How are you doing? For God's sake, hurry, man. It's catching up with us fast.
there were no reports about this thing until 1946. What could have happened then to start the stories? 1946? Well, the, uh, the bikini underwater experiments were set off then. Maybe that started something. Deep down in the strange, lurid, murky depths of the Pacific are fantastic, horribly grotesque creatures of the sea that challenge man's courage as no earthly creatures can. Science knows some of the answers, but not all. And among science's unknowns is the strange identity of the living monster from the ocean floor. How he get out of suit? No man gets through that. Then what happened to him? Here is the first undersea battle ever photographed between a giant killer shark and a woman as she searches for a monster even more deadly. Could absorb a man. Or a woman. <laughs> 